Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Documentary, so the curb. Guys, guess what? I've got lights again, I've got electricity, so yeah! We are able now to react to video not only in the daytime now, but I can now react to videos in the night. What I'm waiting for right now is internet connection. We are now getting back a light, so hopefully soon, I hope in within months or within a couple of months, we will get back internet so that I could react to the video request more often for you guys. Of course, we're gonna check out a video, guys, the video showing the rescue operation, the rescue operation of getting the guys out of the cave and including the 12 students and the coach out of the cave we're gonna check out this video it's gonna be an exciting video guys of course thank you very much for requesting like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to the video leave a comment below thank you so very much let's go ahead let's see okay wow it's showing them when they were getting ready and they have their they're getting on their suit and stuff wow the rescuers were so amazing they got them out and that was so good and the effort which went into it was just just remarkable. I'm at I'm a loss for words. Wow, this is like the first video footage I am seeing right now of when they actually took them out or the, or the mission itself. We saw the video when they first met them in the cave, and that was such a great video, of course. And now this one, you guys sent it for me so that I could watch it. Them getting the keys out of the cave. Whoa. That is just so incredible. I'm so I, I I you know what is always amazing to me is the fact that more and more when through these experiences we learn better way to come to the rescue, we learn better way to save life, we learn better way to create equipments to do new things to help persons survive in times like this. And this is so remarkable. Wow. And it was a challenge. I understood the water was a challenge. The the slope and the ground was a challenge. The current, the water current is that's them. That's one of them. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're not seeing much of of of, of the person's or the individual face, but I know for sure it's one. I can see his feet. Wow. I, you know what would be amazing is when they're talking about the experience. I'm quite sure eventually we'll see more and more videos, even where they might be sitting down and speaking with a host and stuff. We will learn more and we'll understand more of what they were going through. That is just amazing. So the rest of the video looks like it's gonna be picture. Good gosh, that is just wow. And they had a lot of volunteers, a lot of resources. I was just reading on an article where they said the king also committed a lot to the equipment. I'm not quite sure. And they said the stuff like the air tank and stuff like that. So indeed, that is a good thing. That's just amazing. I expected that the king and the government and the people of Thailand would have committed a lot. I understood there was a, a group um, who helped by washing the clothes of the rescuers it had those who provided food it had the farm the farming community of village i understood allowed the water to they basically allowed the rescuers to drain the water from the cave onto their rice field and they were so okay they were okay with the water wetting or flooding their fields just to save the people of thailand and the kids in the cage in thailand and what was even more remarkable is the fact Wow, is the fact that the guys who actually flooded the field did not live until they cleared the field for the farmers. I tell you, Thailand have a lot of love and that is just, that is incredible. Let's check out this part. Here, here's another video footage. Here. They're coming down right there with the cave. Oh boy, that looks very slippery. That's actually looking almost like gold. You don't find that? I find the rocks looking like gold. Oh my gosh, look how far they went. Wow. So basically they had the tank so they were in the i'm seeing a lot of pictures as to how they might have gotten out or how they actually transpired from one part of the cave to another i saw pictures where they had the rescuers with a tank holding the kids have their own mask while it's connected to the rescuer tank and then another tank rescuer at the back then there are some of them when they have them in like a, 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 a a stretcher and they have tanks and they've given them they have a breathing mask in the stretcher so it's amazing to see this that is just so good yo so many so many effort and resources went into this 
And it's all because of love. It's all because of love. A lot of sacrifices were made and it was because of love. And the student, an ex um, Thai Navy SEAL lost his life, but he did it fighting a good cause. He did it for a worthy cause. And I think one of the things that is amazing or the best way to go is doing something worthwhile and doing something you know that will help others. That is just amazing. Look at so many pipes though. They had so many pipes to join out the water and yet there was so much water. Wow. I'm quite sure sometime in the future they're gonna find a way to get through this cave easier. I am quite sure someone's going to research it and learn how to actually save persons faster in the cave. But I the bravest persons there were the boys, yeah. They stayed alive for that long and they kept strong and that was amazing. And that gave encouragement to everyone else in the video. That that really encouraged a lot of persons in the video. Of course you guys might not be hearing too much of the discussion or the talking in reference to the video because it have no audio. Um, but I'll put a little music just to you know lighten the mood and to make it better to to feel what they were feeling. But this video right here have no um, volume, so it's more of like a videography. Thank you nonetheless for your questions. We're gonna check out another one and it looks like it's the same video though. Someone told me it's um the footage of inside the cave while they were rescuing the Thai boys. Um, I'm seeing the thumbnail and looking like it's the same, but nonetheless, let's just check it out and see what exactly they're gonna talk about. Okay, let's see, it looks like the same thing. This is the extraordinary footage of the rescue. We have the oh, extraordinary this have footage of the rescue of 12 Thai boys who were trapped in a cave with their coach wow. for 18 days. Also, that is basically, this video is the same. It just looks like they're talking over it and stuff. Oh, and this one's from Thai Navy SEAL. They actually came from Thai Navy They end up stranded on the ledge, starving in the darkness. Wow, it took more than a week before the kids who miraculously found their life by the team of British divers. Wow, okay, there's more video here because we're seeing them. We're seeing that they're giving them oxygen. That is, wow, heavy rainfall make the rescue for dangerous. With one Thai Navy SEAL losing his life while establishing an airline in the trapped cave. The children were pulled through several miles wow, of water filled tunnel one by one. That was a lot of effort, yo! Fun. Ay! Here they are! Oh gosh! More than two weeks before they've been trapped. They're like. It's so amazing. That is what the, the entire journey was about, saving lives. Wow. Oh my gosh. The parents must be so very happy. So very happy to see their kids again. You want to know what love is? This is what love is. Endless love. Endless journey. That is what love is. Not giving up when you don't even know what you will find. Not giving up when it almost seems like it is hopeless. But love is not giving up. And that is just so much love. Love, love, love. You know, you watch all the commercials from Thailand in regards to love and all sort of things. And this is it right here in real life. It's hitting us like this. The last time I saw so much compassion, so much attention brought to Thailand was um, the tsunami which hit. And of course the king passing away. That was two events I really heard like on the news in the western world was in regards to this and this is the third one and this all of them show the love the Thai people have for each other and love the world have for the Thai people and this is incredible this is remarkable this is this is great yo I also have a video I have to react to after this one so I said free so I'm gonna react that to another that was incredible head back tomorrow for another yes, episode of what did I just watch it was incredible. We're gonna react to one more video. This one is the actual, so I just saw some part of the clip in this video where the boys were in the, um, in the hospital. But someone sent me like a one minute clip showing me, hey, here are the guys, here are the boys in the hospital and they have so much energy. So we're now gonna check it out. Let's go ahead and check out this one. So here they are. 
Wait. Yes. Oh gosh. One. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Wow. I like how bright the hospital is too. It's. They. I am happy that they have seen so much light. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I, I, I can't wait for the close-up interview with them when they're speaking with them. I can't wait for that. I hear they are. <laughs> wow! That is amazing. Yep. Love. Wow. So that was that was a very short video, but it's exciting one. Guys, this is what we've been praying for. This is what we've been hoping for. This is what we have had faith about that the boys and the coach will be alive and they will be safe. And it's amazing what love and faith can do and how fight can bring us. That's why I say at times we wonder what to do. We got to just believe. We got to have faith. Imagine if there was doubt in the British diver's mind. Imagine there was a doubt in the government, the kings, the people, their parents' mind. People would have given up, but they did not doubt. They had love and they had faith that it was possible. They believed the greatest movement in the world is to believe and to have love. That is something we cannot purchase and that is something we cannot lose. No matter the situation we're in, there's two things we have and no one can take it us, take away from us. We can show love and we can believe. No matter what the situation is, and they had that situation right there in the cave, they believed and they had love, and that is great. Thank you guys for requesting this video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Jones with Just Entry. If you guys want me to react to video, as long as there are more videos coming out of the boys out from Thailand, even I know for sure they will have a video when they interview them, and I cannot wait to hear them speak. I can't wait to hear them express what happened, and I hope it will have English translation for sure. But I cannot wait. Thank you so very much. Bye guys.